a little bit about the transition that you're going through from SEA to Michigan State. Man, it's been a, you know, it's been a little crazy of a experience. I mean, it's purely driven by motivation, you know, to be, to get to that next level. I mean, I, I kind of see it as a stepping off point, you know, like you were done with high school, like you've been going through high school and now you're done with it. So now you get onto the more professional stage, you know, you get to go to a more like advanced stage. And so I have to make sure that I'm ready for that. So like for the last two, three months, I've been constantly in the gym, in the weight room, and I've been doing nothing but just thinking, get better, get better, get stronger, get faster. And I'm, I really want that starting spot in Michigan State, so I've been doing everything I can to prepare for that. Talk to me a little bit about how it was transitioning to California and playing prep on a national uh, stage. Man, it was, at first it was really hard. Um, I think this stage, the national stage, it requires a lot of sacrifices from your normal high school experience. I think with your normal high school experience, you know, you get to play in front of your family and friends, you get to go to these dances and like, you get to walk in the halls, you know, as a basketball player, but I realized that wasn't meant for me. I feel like the, the path that I am on right now, it requires that I need to make sacrifices in order to get to the best, the next stage. And I thought I'd be limiting myself if I stayed at my local high school. So it was a great, it was a great experience to be in the high school, but I thought going out to California would be best for me, to, for my game and for my future. And in the first couple months, it was hard being away from family and living with all these people that you didn't know, my teammates. But after the first month, it was smooth sailing from there. You know, it was eat, breathe, live basketball. And that's what I genuinely wanted to do. And when you love basketball the way that I do, it's nothing but fun, you know, it's fun. It's what you do, it's what you want to do every day. Talk to me a little bit about playing with so many different high-ranked players like Amari and Dior, you guys, the other guards going to USC. What, what was it like? playing with other really, really good guards when the ball wasn't in your hands and you weren't, you know, uh, just what, what was it like? Man, it was it was amazing. Every every single person I played with this year is, they were amazing. I was so thankful that I was to be a part of a program where every person on our roster was a D1 athlete and D1 player. Um, it made my life a lot easier. It, uh, when, I, when the ball was in my hands, I could trust those guys to go get a bucket when we really needed one, you know, like if the game, if I wasn't having my best game, it was, it was so awesome to rely on them and trust them, they can have their 30 point game, you know, like they, they'll, they'll break out tonight, you know, the guard, like Amari and Dior, Oziah, Rob, Jalen Reed, Jim Thompson, Vince, all those guys, man, I couldn't ask for better teammates this year, I really couldn't, all, every one of them contributed to this team and they were, I, I had so much fun this year how because of how good they were and how good they were to me and how much they helped me with my game. What, what, was, what was the most difficult thing about the traveling and playing on a national schedule? Uh, I would say the hardest thing about that was, I mean, honestly, for me, it wasn't that hard. <laughs> honestly, I, that's what I love to do. Like, I literally love to travel and go play. And some people, you know, didn't like waking up early and catching flights and tra all the traveling. But honestly, to me, it was like, this is what we're gonna do for the rest of our lives. I, I'm gonna have to get used to this. So I took the opportunity to, you know, kind of adjust and like kind of really soak it in. Like, this is the beginning stages of what your, your life is gonna be like. So I, I personally enjoyed it.